suerte también tendrá. Summertime. For many, that means warm water, crowds, and small surf. And that's why the crew has packed up the fishing rods, spear guns, and surfboards, and headed south of the border, tracking down a mighty southern hemi. Let's meet the crew. The guy in the back is Brian Connolly, barrel riding legend and tour guide in charge of tracking down the tubes and tuna for the crew. Front left, Quentin Turco. This polite spearfishing tube hound is from the Outer Banks. On the right, Lucas Dirksy, the pocket knife. This crusty craftsman was born in Baja. And Benji Brand. Wait, where's Benji? The South African minister of tube riding lost his boards on the flight over from Hawaii, and he's gonna miss the first day of the trip. The swell hadn't arrived yet, so the guys hopped on Brian's ponga in hopes of finding some tuna to fill the fridge with for the remainder of the trip. That didn't take long. That is way bigger than I realized. Yeah. Oh That's God. 150, right? like 200 pounds. Yeah. That's Calton. Fish count went up, the freeboard went down, and these tired travelers headed back to the barn for some tuna crossfit before hitting the hay. Oh, yeah. Pick your peak. <laughs> this is insane. Yeah, Quentin. Battle scars. What is going on there, bro? Mm. Contusion. 
Contusion. Yeah, I got back out. It's still kind of nice. Dude, there's definitely still waves. Yeah? You gonna go back? I mean, what else are we gonna do? Cut a whole bunch of tuna. Cut a bunch of tuna. It's probably gonna be. Uh, no, no one's out. No one's out. Benji said the fillet table can wait and opted to follow surf trip rule number one. When there's surf, surf. What's in the board bag? What's in the board bag? Nice. Not a surfboard. The next day, the swell had picked up, and maybe a little more than the guys had expected. Dude, what was that? Like a Maverick survival explosion. <laughs> Doesn't, you don't realize how big it is. They like this kind of like little yeah, that's how mine like that was fun. It's so bad, went in. Wait, this is so long to get on the ski. But, and then Brian has just kept on saying like, oh, wait, the wind's staying light all day. The wind's staying light all day. He'll get his shot, so. He just wanted to get me on a good one, I think. That was sick, though. Worth the wait. Dude, it's really good. That's something that Without the ski, go. Benji proceeded to go on a Soul Daddy afternoon paddle heater. Almost three o'clock. We had it to ourselves yeah. for what? Two hours? Yeah. Got so <laughs> glorious. Everyone left. It's hectic Mental. and told. <laughs> After a seven hour marathon session of getting drained out of their brains, the guys headed back to Brian's to enjoy some fresh tuna with Chef Lucas. We're gonna make a Colima Aguachile. 
coconut lime agua chile. We got local tuna and avocado, cucumber, serrano, and we're gonna dump the coconut on it right now. You just kinda wanna float the fish in it lightly so it gets a nice little coconut marinade. These are local limes from Colima. They're very special Mexican limes. Yeah, like Day whatever. Pumping again. This place is incredible. Losing my mind. <laughs> Maybe another scorcher today. You guys have a long session yesterday? Seven hours, dude. <laughs> What's going on here, Lucas? We're sussing out which peak to go surf. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, so peak. It's kind of a good oh. choice. We're trying to be, uh, what did you say yesterday? <laughs> More calculated. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. That's a money hole. Let's go. Lucas took some of the calculated <laughs> advice from Benji and ended up having one of the sessions of his life. He was so fired up, we let him pick the song for the part. Consequence and no crowd. <laughs> 